All right, welcome back to Vulcan Deckmasters. We're just done casting a game between Life Coach and Kuvdon. So Life Coach picked it up, and he's going to be moving on against Naria a bit later. In the meantime, we've got Colento versus Cypher. I don't think these players need any introduction, uh, what with them being all over the tournament scene. Yeah, and Cypher, uh, with just some great play earlier in the day against Gara. If you missed that, you missed out on a fantastic little set there. Cypher just went to work, man. Kalinto, what what introduction could you possibly give? Everybody knows Kalinto at this point. Uh, a big powerhouse manly, having a little bit of trouble at uh, so what you call it, uh, Archon. The team thing. Yeah, brain, the Archon team league, yeah. There you go. I, you know, I, 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 had, I had two of the three words I needed to put that title together, and I missed it. That's all right. So, uh, Kalento's brought a pretty interesting lineup. He's got Warrior, Warlock, Hunter, and Cypher's got Hunter, Warlock, Mage. Um, the thing is, there's no Rogue in either of these players' lineups, and it's a class that I've come almost to expect from at least one of them. And Cypher not only doesn't have Rogue, but he also doesn't have Warrior. He brought his Tempo Mage that I think we saw earlier, um, and we saw his Warlock as well, which was an aggressive one. And a Hunter was a typical mid-range, so it was kind of interesting to see. It's a bit of an unusual matchup, or lineup that is, to bring to a tournament. Yeah, uh... Kalento, uh, in case you guys haven't been following along in the tournament, he was number one in his group, ran through Kufdan, Bunny Muffins, Forsen, and had a walkover versus Stilo. Um, Cypher had a little bit more trouble as he ran into both Surrender and Life Coach and got uh, beaten by them in group stages. Obviously beat uh, Show Ivan and earlier today, Gara. So uh, he's going to be, I mean, you got to be riding a little bit high here, maybe coming against Kalento cold, catch him off guard, or maybe Kalento just uh, has a little bad run like he did the other day. And uh, we could see Cypher moving on to the semifinals. Uh, obviously, winner of uh, this game, and it's going to be Life Coach versus Nyria. Uh, going to be moving on. Well, we're going to be playing those semifinals uh, at the end of the day after we finish yeah. watching all the matches that lead up to them. Yep, so it's going to be a bit of an interesting lineup here. I don't think I've ever seen uh, Kalento versus Cypher at any point in the past. I mean, Cypher, again, a member of a newly formed team, Fade to Karma. He's still in this event where Hawkeye got dropped out during the group stage, unfortunately for him. There's a chance that Cypher can represent Fade to Karma up to the final. So if he does that, that's going to be a big first massive event win for, for the team that's been uh, formed just recently, I think about two weeks ago or so. Yeah, really, if he if he takes this, I think it's going to be uh, it's almost like the the expected right at this point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. Yeah, I think you always have to lean that way and then see how it uh, see how it shakes out. But I mean, what a great uh, what a great intro to the scene. A great statement to make if you're Cipher. Um, great play earlier against Gara. Just a nice smooth. It ended up going three one as he stumbled just a little bit there uh, in the third game of the set. But three one against Gara and looked pretty comfortable doing it. Uh, Cipher. Seem to be having fun with it as well. So we'll see if he can uh, beat the King of Smirks, Kalento. That guy, uh, unshakable, even when yeah, he's having a rough day. I'm just curious to know whether or not Kalento is going to bring Face Hunter because he's played it a little bit in yeah. past tournaments. Uh, not something that he does systematically. In fact, he tends to stray away from it, but. I uh, overall, and it's something that I don't really. Know. Be some rough chops there for Noxious. He's got some internet work going on near his house. He's still in, though. I believe. He stayed. He stuck with it. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm having a lot of uh, internet issues. I mean, my games are basically in 144p, so I tend it's... to not see numbers. Everything's jumping out. The screen's blacking out. It's like the worst possible day for me. You get a sweet point, Picasso, for casting purposes. Yeah. Yeah. Picasso look at but, the cards. Yeah, basically. It's like I'm looking at impressionism, not even Picasso, man. It's that yeah. that would be too clear. That would be <laughs> that would be too clear. It's like a Monet really close up. Exactly. <laughs> That's my entire Skype screen. Yeah. All right. So in the first game here between Kalento and Cypher, we see there's a tempo mage from Cypher. Let's see if Unstable Portal picks up an Alec here again. Yeah. I mean, that was a nice grab earlier for Cypher. Got him out of a tough spot. It may have been a tougher series against Gara if not for Unstable Portal. So he's going to be, you know, praying to the RNG gods one more time. He's already getting it started. Kalinto, I mean, looking rustic. Ooh. Look at that. Starting to get a little facial hair going on. I like the new Kalinto. I like it. 
<laughs> well, that's right. Let's get the lumberjack, Kalento. Ruggedly handsome, Kalento. He can take care of you on a cold winter's night. He'll chop the wood. He'll start the fire himself. He'll skin the deer and make a rug for you. And then you'll have a beautiful meal that he's cooked over an open flame. Isn't it easier to just go inside an inn and just, you know, find some food there? Yeah, that's much easier. But okay. not for Kalinto. Because he... It's too easy, just, all right. He's a caring guy. I'll look here. unstable portal early. early. <laughs> Why not get Ooh, out of Ooh, that is pretty good. Not too shabby. With the double mad scientist opener, I think it's actually more than not too shabby. Yeah, that's more. Yeah, yeah, man. I get it for one as well with the, with the reduction. And he's got another unstable portal in case he gets bored at any point during the game and just feels like rolling it again. So he's going to have a very, very nice, strong-looking early game here as Kalento has no idea what's in store, but he knows he's got a ban of worm he's got to deal with on the board. You know, Ethereal Arcanus is one of those cards where I think if it was just maybe three mana at least instead of being four, it might be more playable or if it was like a two mana 2-2 two -two or something. Yeah, as it is, it just doesn't see a lot of play. But honestly, if you can get it for three cheaper, that's a, that's a run it every time. Every unstable portal, just pull it out. Mirror image grab for Cypher. Acolytes of Pain, each on the board, and the Mana Worm cleared away. Flame Cannon going to deal with that. Kalento going to get himself, what do you get? Unstable Ghoul there, and Mad Scientist drop for Cypher. Well, Mirror Entity, again, can be played around with. The thing is, Cypher is going to get at least one trigger uh, if the Mad Scientist dies beforehand. Hunter's is going to go and kill the Acolyte of Pain. Make sure he doesn't give his opponent more than one card draw. Lotheb grab for Cypher and a Sorcerer's Apprentice on the proper draw. Mad Scientist sitting there looking pretty. Clear board and it's going to be, be the Apprentice. And yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this board state. From for... He's going to grab something real blocky, Abomination. Yeah, you don't really play that against Patron Warrior. At least you, if you do it, you do it as fast as you can, because that two damage AoE might just be your own device. Like, that could just spawn even more Patrons for you to, hand, to have to handle. Yeah, Cypher hovers over that for a quick second and then thinks, man, what do I do with this? Okay. Yeah, I, I can't play it now. now for sure. There's no way, because the Death Bite kills it and everything else blows up. I don't think so. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Great value for money, what are you talking about? So Abomination going to sit in the hand and maybe just kind of hang out there for a pretty deep run into the game unless you can clear away uh, some patrons later on. And there you go. Going to get the Arcanist out and go ahead with Mirror Image. And it's a grab on Gnomish Inventor for Kalinto. Solid board for Cypher now. Uh, obviously, the Abomination's not going to get too much done, but Lotheb's sitting in the hand for next turn. Now, Kalento's got good options as far as board clearing. Coming up with the Warsong Commander Ghoul, the AoE from Death Spite, and the Armorsmith allowing him to get an extra one damage in to whatever target he wants. I think this is looking uh, pretty solid for Kalento if he just takes his time and makes the best play. Next turn should be a really good turn for him. Absolutely. Got uh, plenty of cards in the hand, so plenty of follow-up on the other side of the clear as well. And Cypher, I mean, not with too much, obviously. He's got the Lotheb sitting around. We'll see what the draw ends up being. Slam there, going to get himself uh, just a secret drawn out for Cypher. Coins out the ghoul uh, to make sure that he doesn't end up soaking up too much mirror entity. Oh, man. <laughs> this, this, is, this is what... This is the worst possible thing. This is like playing Doomsayer. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Into your opponent. This is the amount of AoE damage coming up right here. I mean, that's not the void most of your board, now what? Like, what do you do? There so, Clinton decided to go out a bit faster than, uh, than I thought he would. Fireball pull for Cypher. Not a lot he can use it on. I got an unstable ghoul that, I mean, he's just got nothing good to do with that. I guess and you got a nope. double trade and played the A bomb. Like, you ping yep. and played the Abomination for all. All the good that's going to do you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's what he's got. So it's what he's going to have to live with. So Cypher going to think about it, but uh, he's really not got a whole lot of places to go. Just going to have to give a little bit more armor to Kalinto. 
Sad to say. And there comes the abomination. Hey, he made it out onto the field. Good for him. 4-4 taunt and battle rage grab for Kalento. Another death spite onto the pile. It's just the second death spite animation. Whoa. Cypher, Flamewalker. I mumbled through that one. That's okay. And you can't play Lothab here. It's too dangerous because it just dies to the death spite. I see. And he's gonna. He, he says, doesn't have the choice. Just... It, 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 you have to play it. I, I say you can't, but really, you have to play yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, there's it not a lot. It just sucks. It just really sucks. Gonna slow down any execute whirlwind follow ups that would not have a whole lot of places to go, but hey! Not the best value, Warsong Commander and Inventor. The Might drops have to take his Linton. time. Yeah, might just bite his time to keep that second charge for when it's actually going to be uh, somewhat important. What was he looking for here that he would play his two minutes first? Not really sure. I mean, he is running just a whole lot of not particularly scary. I mean, Cypher not in the best position here, but he is going to get some card draw, whereas you're looking at double execute whirlwind battle rage the entire hand yeah, for Kalento there. What was the, why did Kalento attack? Like, why did he play his minions before attacking into Lothab? Is there a reason? What was he looking for from the hand? I'm still not sure. Yeah, I mean, it must have been something to mitigate the face damage, but uh, yeah, I mean, where do you end up for that? And gonna ping the inventor off the board, Flame Walker. Gonna do his thing. Boom in the hand now for Cypher, Unstable Ghoul for Kalinto. Doubt that was what he was looking for. It's not that bad, though. You can still get a really amazing turn if you pick up a patron in the next two. A Berserker Whirlwind, so, I mean, he's in a good spot if he can find the Patron. But, uh, yeah, Flamewalker's sitting on the board. There's a lot of potential here for Cypher to get some free value. Yeah, Whirlwind Execute. Like, you have to play Frothing Whirlwind Execute. It's kind of weak. But if you're looking at this board from Kalento's perspective, do you ever play Ghoul Execute? That seems like a better play than the Whirlwind, for sure. And looks like what Kalinta will go with there, and... What's great about this play is that it still forces your opponent to answer two threats, which means your Warsong or your Frothing might live, either of which you'd be happy about. Mechanical Yeti grab for Cypher, who's got Dr. Boom Fireball Manaworm sitting in the hand. Kalento, he's in a nice little spot here. Nothing that Cypher's going to be able to deal with too terribly quickly. Obviously, uh... Anything running into that unstable ghoul going to help him out just a little bit, but also uh, beef up that berserker. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess he could fireball it, but you want to get that off there before too long because it's that. Uh, yeah, not too much a disparity there between the health twenty to eighteen with Kalinto behind by two. Cypher thinking about it. What's he going to do? Time runs out on me. Rope's ticking. I mean, it's again, it's not a great spot to be sitting because you have to deal with that Berserker. Mana Worm. No, Fireball. Yeah, you've absolutely got to handle that uh, the frothing. Like, the, yeah. the way that he played this out means that he can ping the Warsong Commander next turn very easily. So... Ooh, now just in time, and that's exactly the turn you wanted it. The thing is, if you end up whirlwinding, you kill your war song, so your patrons are less likely, obviously, to get the uh, the value you're looking for. Yeah, Cypher, and, and yeah, Cypher, not sitting on much of a hand that could answer it, so... You know, it's a rough one for Kalinto because he's, he's really going to have to think about how to work through this. He doesn't end up in too bad of a position, but obviously he can't necessarily know that. What with our ability to access perfect information about the Hand of Cypher. What Kalinto is considering is, you know, how many patrons do I get if I whirlwind? You know, sure, I can kill that Mana Worm, but ultimately the patron that kills the Mana Worm, if I use the patron for that, is just going to not respawn after the Whirlwind because it's going to be on one health. So in effect, he's going to end up with two patrons at first and then four at the end of the turn. That was like the one card that Cypher was hoping he wouldn't end up seeing. And then he's going to have to see it. And... Actually, he's going to go for it. There we go. We're going to get a total of uh, three patrons here. Three and some armor. Yeah, doesn't want to go for the second Whirlwind. 
Can't fault him, but is there a flame strike in that deck? I really don't think so. Doesn't yeah, seem very likely. Yeah, I don't see a ton of that lately. But uh, hey, might as well draw out. See, see who wants to come to the party. Obviously, Boom's always waiting around. He's an old friend. He's there when you need him, and you got the mana. So hey, why not? Because you're definitely not going to ping onto that one health. Uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice and a Fireball. No oh, man, oh. that that feels that almost feels good. Yeah, the keyword yeah. is almost. Yeah, you're looking for frostbolt here. You were looking for frostbolt and the fireball or double frostbolt. It doesn't quite solve the problem of the patrons, but it might put Kalinto in a position where, obviously, next time around he's going to have a doctor boom that he can get some work done on. Uh, and there you go. Going to clear away what he can and uh, put a non a non tradable situation on the board. So Kalinto, maybe you have to spend a whirlwind here. Got to oh, act like God. a paint. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good draw to go with that one. Yeah, not bad. You're getting the second patron that's not even going to be damaged, and then you get to kill that 3-2. That's a pretty good deal, I'd say. Venture for more card draw for Kalinto. And a oh, my God. Field in battle rage, so Kalinto's <laughs> turn can go forever in a rage, and Emperor Thorsan and a Fiery War Axe. And, uh, you know, not a bad run there for Kalinto as he runs into some really great cards there. Yeah, Patron Back Stone, pretty much. Playing around Frostbolt by uh, using the Inner Rage right away on his Patron, guaranteeing that at least one of them should stick around. Oh, it was the next draw for Cypher. He Ooh. needed that last turn. Yes, he did. Right now, staring down a pretty nice little chunk of damage on the board. 11 damage sitting on the board before anything else comes down. Thor sand in hand and a fiery war axe and an execute for Kalinto. Boom, going to come out. Yeah, you can certainly clear away that, uh, yeah, five damage bad boy there and force an answer from Kalinto here with Boom on the field. Now that he's going to be very... In a rage. And he picks up a pretty good card here, getting it, the ability to duplicate patrons again. Actually, wait, how much damage does he have? He's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, he's not quite on the lethal yet. Yeah. Unless he and picks up... No, there's nothing. With the inner rage there, yeah, it's. I mean, it's. Uh, it's not a bad spot to be necessarily. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna force these trades out. I, you know, I guess worst case it lands on your. Uh, it does a little too much damage, or it lands on your inventor and takes your your cutie little gnome right off the field. Cruel Taskmaster sitting in hand now for Kalinto, but not for very long. He's gonna put a little bit of hurt onto Boom. Execute Thorsan. No fiery war axe. Kalinto running it down, gonna get some good damage put onto face, down to 7 health, armor up, 18 with 4 armor, 7 health left on Cypher, not a lot of room to wiggle here as he's got a Boom Bot, an Azure Drake, and a Yeti, and that's not the most comfortable trip to the movies, Thorsan gonna come out, but not enough left in the tank to get him onto the field. He can actually do in this position from Cypher's perspective, he really, had the, he really needed that arcane only to draw into double removal, like Fireball, Frostbolt, or double Frostbolt, because those patrons, to, you know, I guess. I, I don't know why I said the word, I, I guess I should duplicate or copy themselves, because like patrons reproduce. Yeah, they reproduce. <laughs> oh, man. Nox is probably still talking, but we can't hear him. That's okay. He's going to be sad that I'm saying it, but his, uh, his net problem's just been ugh, downhill all day, and we're straight back into the next game, so hopefully Nox just swings around in time. Uh, but yeah, they call their friends, we'll say, once Nox just gets back. I think we'll agree on it when he's back. All right, I'm back. What's up? There you go. You did it. I did it, Reddit. Oh, Kalento's playing Zoo. Well, hello there. Well, yeah. And then uh, what do we have mid-range on Cypher. Huh? I am liking this from Kalento. And it's a pretty good hand, too. He's just missing the egg to really make that Void Terror the most threatening thing in the world. Gonna get his flame, out, flame Imp out early, Void Walker. And uh, game up for Kalento. Pretty comfortable in there. I mean, he never really had that runaway board full of patrons, but he just kept them... It was more like the patrons were kind of nagging you. Every time you thought the party was over, they'd call one of their friends and it'd go on for another 10 minutes. And 
Yeah, it wasn't a blowout where podcast. you see like one turn one. It was more of a, a trickle down patron. You know the yeah. trickle down patron theory? <laughs> the trickle down, yeah. It started that in the 80s, I think. It was uh, yeah. Dukakis started that one. Web Spinner gives him an Emperor Cobra. That's, again, Zoo, that's surprisingly effective because if they don't end up having the Abusive Sergeant um, or two attack minion with a Dire Wolf Alpha, very often. Like three, then you can kill that right away. So, Trooper on the field. Cypher got himself a kill command. And yeah, I mean, pretty nice little board developed here for Kalento early on. Got the Eagle Horn bow in hand as well. Like you said, the Emperor Cobra. You know, the Emperor Cobra is surprisingly effective against uh, an M Gang boss. Yeah. That, that's one thing, but it's, it's kind of hard to play on this board. I think the bow kind of uh, forces itself here as a result of not making any other really rewarded. Yeah, I mean, the Emperor Cobra there just not, yeah. Uh, I mean, you're going to have to wait that turn. You're going to have to soak that damage. So you got to do something about it. Kalinto grabs himself an Iron Beak Owl and see if he deems Great the card Creeper here. worthy of his oh, eye. Yeah, yeah. He does indeed. Now, on turn four, you've got to be scared of Houndmaster. And again, as a zoo player, sure, you can actually go through the Houndmaster, but you'd rather not have to. Um, not in a position like this one, at least. That's a bit awkward. Houndmaster was there for Cypher. He's going to get unleashed the Hounds. Yeah. You kind of have to play it now, because otherwise, the fan of Argus makes everything really awkward. Unless you kill the Flame Imp with your bow and play Emperor Cobra, mm -hmm. which in turn forces the opponent to have an like this. Yeah. And that's going to be the play. So Emperor Cobra going to be sitting on the field. Kalento. Egg. Oh, man. It's good. Nip gang boss and abusive sergeant. I'm back and, and forth here. I'm liking this. Yeah, nice little trade here. I mean, quick hands for both sides. Freezing trap there for Cypher. Going to buy him a little respite from the board that's been developed for Kalento here. If he decides to throw it out, probably going to happen. No, I don't know if you'd play it here, unfortunately, oh, you because you have it. to get rid of the abusive in the first place. Yep. Um, so it's probably going to have to be a very boring turn. I think Cypher's turn is going to be one of the most dull ones. Unless he goes for the Unleash, kill the 2-1, and then play the Freezing Trap. Keeps the 1-1 one -one for a Houndmaster play on the following turn. That's like the only thing I could see this. Yeah. Base. And, yeah. Keep it super cash there. Gets the sergeant cleared. One to face. Gang boss still there. Implosion grab for Kalinto. Casually, yeah. you know, an Urban Egg Void Terror. Yeah. Just a casual, you know, turn super, five. Yeah. Throw it no down. Problem. No big. No big deal. Void Terror, whatever. Yeah, what's a three who five plays? and a four four? Yeah, who even... You know, Cypher's got that covered with this... Totally awesome draw of kill command again. So two kill you, commands. You know, he does have it covered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, that's actually... It was supposed to be a joke, and then it kind of... Um, yeah. There you go. That's that's the way the cookie crumbles. And uh, well, hey! That's a bit that awkward, one. though. Because yeah. you've lost your entire board here as Cypher, so you're hoping for a sick dob deck. And knife juggler, Kalinto. I mean, feeling sprightly there. Look at him. He had a little... Uh, was a little pep in his step as he dropped that juggler and as the implosion will come and make friends with everybody on Kalinto's side of the board and very quickly make enemies of everybody on Cypher's side and cleared away and just ooh, a good turn for Kalinto. Yeah, the thing is, like, usually this matchup tends to go away. Like, Zoo has too many tools to make Hunter removal, I wouldn't say irrelevant, but very tough um, to really use effectively. And in many cases, you can't remove their minions, thus you fall behind on tempo. And the when the hunter can't be the aggressor, it tends to just go downhill. So snake trap, couple of kill commands, and a whole lot of waiting for Cypher. There's kill command and enemy turn. Lit He's trying up. to bluff the explosive trap. <laughs> Does Kalento ever, ever not trigger it here? I, this is such yeah, a sick bluff from Cypher. He's just going to tap into it, Flame Imp. There's no way he doesn't attack. He has to attack yeah. and then play M Gang Boss. 
<laughs> oh man, that bluff from Cypher <laughs> didn't work out, but it was a good idea. That was a pretty Cheeky play, last Cypher. Day. Yeah, I mean, kudos for that one. As uh, we wanted to believe Kalinto would uh, would think about it for a minute. Certainly, he took his time and tapped, and then he was just like, "Well, nothing for it." All right. I mean, it's like if if I t if I uh, if I tap, I can still play aim gang boss after the explosive, and ultimately, I can't wait on my defenders of Argus to go for that play because it's just hopeless. It's like he's got one card that make you know two of his minions live. Uh, not really likely to work yeah. out. Yeah, Kalinto back into shape, it seems, after a bit of a rough time over at the Archon side of the fence. Uh, but now he's, he's back over here in Deckmaster's land, and he's feeling comfy in uh, 2-0 right now. Kalinto with the face. I saw an Arcane Golem. Are we looking at a hybrid <laughs> deck, or are we looking at a face deck? I saw a Snake Trap, so it, it could still be a weird yeah. face. Well, with Kalinto, I mean... Or hybrid, yeah. I don't know. Hybrid Hunter is still pretty face-oriented, though, so whatever. Yeah, and uh, right now, Cypher. Is it not a pretty... I mean, he's going to end up grabbing the Creeper and the Web Spinner there, but, uh, I mean, not the not the prettiest numbers to see here super early on, especially Kalinto is going to be able to run quick here through the early game. Uh, right well, now, I, we don't... I think it's pretty cards. good... Pretty good position for Cypher. If you get the initiative here as a mid-range player and you haven't seen a coin play from your opponent Hunter, that means he doesn't have Mad Scientist and then no Creeper very often. So unless Animal Companion shows up here, you're going to be fairly far ahead. And there's Animal Companion. He's got uh, his Creeper Owl. I mean, some good, uh, some good low end here for Kalento. He's got options, and we'll see where he ends up with them. Is he going to play the creeper into creeper and just sit back and relax? He is indeed. What I like about this play is that if the opponent decides to attack your creeper in any way, you can always punish it. Oh, wow, that's actually... Okay, this, is, this has to be a bit scary, because if you're a cypher and you decide to... This is actually not helping you out. Because he's just not going to attack into it, and then just play Houndmaster, get himself a 3-4 with Taunt. Kill Command grab, Kalinto. A web spinner out for Cypher onto the board, and uh, Kill Command grab for Kalinto. He's still got his coin. Ready for anything. Creeper on yeah, the board. I don't, think, uh, the I don't think you want to play uh, coin here with anything, really. But, again, Kalinto picking up the Huffer is not really picking up anything he really cared for. But it's going to allow him to trade... Fairly Before effectively. Animal companion grab for Cypher there. He's got his Hound Master Not really. as well. It's, more, it's pretty straightforward. Just because if it wasn't for the body of the Hound Master, the fact that it's a 4-3, um, this would... God, it's King Crush. It is King Crush. <laughs> Jurassic World. Oh, man. He's the hybrid! No! I'd be Cal. Yeah, you, you uh, come out the Hound Master. So you're fine with this. This is a pretty good Iron B Cal. There's like a high main left and then possibly another Houndmaster buff to remove. None of which are going to come down this turn unless uh, your opponent got really lucky. So Kalinto comfy. Cypher gets his other Creeper. So he can really, if he really wants to be obstinate about the Creepers, he can uh, throw that out there. He's got Animal Companion Lotheb as well. It's going to be Animal Companion. And oh wow, gonna... this is probably the best outcome for him. Creeper on the other not side. bad, but it's vulnerable. Um, whereas this Misha here is going to force a kill command play in some way. Or possibly, Quick like shot. from his perspective, it's like there might be a Hunter's Mark, but that's kind of awkward because there's only two minions. And then what does he do? Yeah. Hunter's Mark unleash on this board doesn't seem very good. So the high main from Cypher is going to be a big issue for Kalento. Yeah, I mean, really nice draw into that one. Eagle Horn Bow and Power and Done. Wow, that is such a whiff for Colento. Eagle Horn Cypher, grab for Cypher. Big subtraction here. This high main initiative with no freezing trap contesting it. And even if there was one, what would you care? Yeah, absolutely. And now he's just going to sit here. He's going to be looking at 11 damage next time around for Cypher plus power. So things getting there in a big way. He's going to have to kill Command, gets his own creeper out, and... Let's get that cleared away. And then just going to go to face on it and hope the high main gets really confused next turn and doesn't beat him up. 
Another wow. high into the deck for <laughs> Cypher. With King Crush waiting, or, waiting in the wings. I mean, this is a pretty good hand, because if you play high main, sure, it it's a bit off curve instead of... But you can still play Lothar bow on eight, and you're securing your advantage even further. I mean, I, I don't think Cypher thinks there's anything that can really stop him at this point. Yeah. I mean, this uh, double... What? He might go for low seven, but I, I would play high main most of the time, unless you really want to weave in hero powers, as opposed to developing a 6-5. Yeah, I mean, crazy big board, uh, you know, you, you'd have high mains out and one of the silence is gone. Wolf Rider, did that play go? We'll see. Uh, he's got a seven cost quick shot in case he uh, is really desperate to quick shot something. But it's going to be Wolf Rider and Abusive Sergeant. It's got the other one in there as well. There you go. Up to five. Clear. Hero power. And he's going to get, uh, you know, good value out of that creeper. As it goes to face with all the rest of it. And clears away the low feb. Kill well, command, that's that's the Whatever. card that seals it, I think. That kill command was necessary, otherwise he was starting to have to play maybe a bit defensively, because that damage on the board you still have to remove. And kill command guarantees like kill command and unleash the hounds were the two cards that he uh he needed to top deck to really make sure that nothing was gonna go wrong. And there you go, finish it off with six. Cypher gonna grab one back as Kalinto was rolling through strong and steady. He's got his Hunter deck left. Hunter deck out now for Cypher, who is gonna be playing with Warlock or Mage next time around. So 2 1. Cypher gets one back. I mean, it was really looking comfortable there for Kalinto for a bit. Cypher gonna find one back. Not that Kalinto didn't put up a fight, just some really nice grabs. And obviously, King Crush, even if he's just sitting in your hand, he's the good luck charm Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, you're kind of okay with it, no matter what. Like you, you know that if the game goes on to the late game, you're likely going to be able to win the race. You know, just with the big nine drop that you picked up. Now, Cipher here with his tempo mage has a Kazan Mystic in it, and against a hunter, that is very good. It's one of the few classes, um, you know, that have secrets. Obviously, so it's like this is pretty much a dream uh, matchup for Cipher. And he's going to hold on to it. Yeah, no reason to ever lose this against a hunter player. Uh, Antonidas as well, Frostbolt in the hand and coining out the Apprentice. Like in this, Frostbolt and Unstable Portal should be able to make your turn two very good play as a minion to counter the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Kalinto, don't have eyes on at the moment, but uh, you know how it is. You know how it is these days, kids. Quick shot, I'll take care of that. Threat removed from the board, but a big, I mean, quick shot grabbed out early. It's good. It's good value, but honestly, you'd rather have it to kill something fancy later on and look fancy in your lumberjack outfit. It's a pretty good top deck. I mean, it's a pretty good uh, way to deal with the sorcerer apprentice, yeah. though. This early, you don't even have to use up too many resources. Just an easy quick shot. Yeah. Considering Cipher's unstable bag. portal play is next level. I mean, <laughs> you don't want to end up in a bad spot. Yeah, <laughs> I and mean, if you're an insect, you don't want to get swatted. No, sir. So. Mad Scientist on the field for Cypher. Yep. And Kalinto with who knows what over there. We're playing it the way Cypher is right now. And Mad Scientist answer. There we go. We got it. Wolf Rider in hand, Knife Juggler, Eagle Horn Bow, and the Snake Trap, which Kalinto hasn't played up just yet. You got to say there's odds on that, uh, you know, Kalinto is watching earlier matches. So he very well, because the Kazan Mystic was pulled earlier. So fair odds Kalinto knows that's in the deck and, and really could wait out a snake trap for a while here. This is, this is just good for Cypher. Because he knows that whatever secret comes out of this Mad Scientist is going to be his. And he also gets the trigger on his own. So that's as good as it's going to get. Go oh, grab man. the golem for Kalinto. Yeah, I mean, that's a rough one. Mad Scientist just going to be uh, money, money all day next time around. He's going to play the snake trap. Well, he he could be person. good. If he picks up the second trap, which is not going to be 
necessarily... Oh man, Kalento's just gonna give his opponent the time to play Kazan Mystic on an empty board. And possibly get it back from freezing. <laughs> if he gets back the Kazan <laughs> Mystic from freezing and get, gets to replay it later on, this could get hilarious. So, Thank you. which one did he steal? I, I can't quite know. see. Uh, well, and now it's us, and we're pretty, and Snake Trap. So he grabs Snake Trap, so Freezing's there. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's in the you, ideal you situation. It. Yeah. You absolutely must kill that Kazan Mystic. He's Anything else is mm -hmm. preventing you from playing your third secret. Oh, boy. Kalinto, uh, yeah, I mean, that's he's got the answer in hand. He just needs to, yeah, well, Eagle Horn Bow, that'll, that'll answer it as well. Had a couple of answers in hand. So, the bow's played. The snake trap has popped. The mystic is no more. Yeah, this, this freezing trap, though, not going to do anything. Kalinto knows that attacking here was going to trigger it. It's just unfortunate for him that he doesn't have... Now the Frostbolt can also. Unstable Portal. Both of them in hand now for Cypher. And he's just going to go ahead and use the snakes as he likes. And he's going to see an explosive trap. And he's going to bid farewell to his snaky friends. And they get the Flame Walker. So that was an explosive trap. Flame. I thought it was going to be a freezing trap. So it turns out... There's actually no drawback to letting the snakes pop for Kalento. Yeah. I was under the impression it was running freezing. But. Simple clear there, Fairy Drag. Onto the field, and a friendly little guy. Girl? I don't know, who knows. Animal Companion. The grab for Kalento now. And, uh, what do we find there? I can't remember what the... Oh, wait, no, I didn't see what the secret was for uh, Mage Side. So, something's sitting under there. It's got You're to right. be Entity though. It's like the only... Well, I guess Counterspell sometimes gets played, but very often it's only Entity that gets run. Uh, in Tempo Mage, we've seen Cypher's deck pretty much entirely to this tournament, so we we know what to expect. And Kalento as well. Oh, yeah, we did see that earlier, didn't wow, we? Wow, that's a good pickup here. Leah going to buff the Wolf Riders attack to four to kill that Flame Waker. It's only... The problem is he's going to be left with a, you know, Wolf Rider of his own to handle. But it's not that bad. Not too shabby indeed, and he's just going to get that Fairy Dragon off of the field. So 3-1 sitting there. Leoc not going to be entirely dealt with by it there. Second Mirror Entity out here for Cypher. So if you play Thoris in here, you're running... Command plus play really wreck your day um, to ping Leog just yet. That's going to be the worst possible thing to happen for you. But on the flip side, you would have Archmage and Double Frostbolt for very cheap. So do you just play the Emperor? All right. So it turns out looks like you do. do that. Huh. Cipher does. If other people don't, that's on them. They're not here and they're not now. Cipher is like, here and now. set of cards that the opponent needs to really punish you for that Emperor. And honestly, with double Frostbolt and Archmage, you've got to feel good. Your opponent's on 18 health, so you're guaranteed lethal if you play, unless Lothep shows up. But that's uh, Archmage, double Frostbolt to face, and then you've got 12 damage with the Fireballs themselves that you can play past turn 8, which you can only... Noxious is having the worst day for internet. In the history of time. Okay, am I back? Because honestly, this is you pretty did. much the best position ever for Cypher. Hmm. Is what I was saying. Turn yeah, 8, okay. he can play this. Um, and just get guaranteed lethal on his opponent. With double fireball right afterwards. The abuse of Sergeant going to come out. Yeah. Beef up the Leak a bit. It's going to be back over to Cypher for great position. Well, never mind. Mirror that uh, mirror image... Could be an issue depending on how Cypher plays this. It could also be a liability if you think he's got Unleash. Let's see what he's got. At the moment, he's got an Eagle Horn bow. But Cypher, will he decide to play around it? Mm. He's got, uh, so, I mean, yeah, just good value in the hand right now. So Archmage, Mirror Image, Frostbolt, or do you go for double Frostbolt, kill the juggler, and one to the face? It's he's really up to how. Yeah. 
There's a few plays to make. Nothing wrong with that. As he'll still end up with a couple of fireballs. And get that juggler. You the Archmage, you're still good. Yeah, I mean, that's already... That's fantastic value. There's the Unleash the Hounds for Kalinto. Great, great idea that he actually killed that juggler, because that might have been... Uh... A bit too much damage going your way. Yeah, I mean, you got Kalinto on a bit of a lead right now, and he's got himself a pretty nice little turn coming. Gonna hero power right there. Kick Cypher down to 14. Wipe away those mirror images quick, fast. You know, like, from this position, though, Cypher doesn't have the guaranteed lethal anymore if Kalinto mm -hmm. decides to trade, um, which, I mean, he kind of has to at this point. I've got, uh, I've got the feeling he will have to do it. Yeah. I oh, mean, he's considering using the bow, putting himself on 13. That way, Cypher can't play Fireball, Fireball, Ping. But then he would die to the Frostball that's on one mana. That's the only thing that I could see Kalento thinking through. He doesn't go for it. Whoa. He's just going to send it all. He, the, he, he thinks he, he's hoping his opponent doesn't have the Frostbolt. He's hoping. Because he's still not dead to double Fireball. And that was the card to... Wah. Cypher with some solid playback. And fireballs for days, giving himself a little uh, little congratulatory run there. Yeah, I'm liking the play, though, from Colento here. Just going full face where you can very often trade. Uh, I mean, the only thing that really kills you is if the opponent has the Frostbolt. Anything else, yeah. and he's starting to have to ping away at your board, which is not very realistic. He would have had to have a second mirror image with a Flame Waker and whatnot, which very often is not realistic to, to expect. Yeah, it's one of those not necessarily a, a right answer, not necessarily a wrong answer from Kalento. He played what he, he sort of had to do on odds, and, uh, you know, it ended up working out for him. He's 2-2 two -two now with Cypher, who's played back really strongly here uh, against Kalento. All right, so we're seeing a Hunter deck versus Zoo again. We know that Zoo is favored in the matchup, uh, but again, the, the hybrid variant of it might have a bit of a better... Better matchup sometimes. It's just not that amazing. The the only upside is that you're getting a little bit of a lower curve, so you're able to contest the board better than mid range can. Um, face hunter alone is not enough, and mid range hunter alone is not enough. But hybrid is where it's at to deal with zoo. Can coin out that egg there for Cypher. Get him sitting pretty on the board and ready for anything that might come his way. He does know uh, it was explosive trap last time around, so. Gonna get that onto the board early. Abusive Sergeant there, if he wants to uh, just give himself a little uh, little tap, let Cypher know that he's here and awake and ready to go. Send it back on over. Direwolf Alpha grab to go uh, alongside the Iron Beak Owl. It is gonna be Owl play, it looks like. Uh, get the Mad Scientist quiet and quiet and up. I, was, I got through that word, okay. Creeper grab for Kalinto is noxious. Dips down once again into the depths of internet woes. Got two knife jugglers sitting in the hand for Kalinto. Just taking a look at him. Not much else he can get out at the moment, uh, but uh, nothing too scary on the board for Cypher either, so he'll be. All right, sorry, I'm back. No worries. Wolf Rider going to be the play. All right, so Colento again with the mid, you know the hybrid deck really push punishing his opponent at the moment. There's really little that uh, Cipher can contest the board with just yet. He's still taking a lot more damage than he'd like. The double juggler in Colento's hand are really going to allow him to push uh, a little further. The thing is, this is where the turns start going back in the favor of Cipher. If any turns, this would be it. Like he's got the egg to pop. He can kill two minions with this. This is just. A good spot to be in, no doubt what Noxious was saying there. So, do you pop the egg now on the Wolf Rider? I mean, I guess you have to pop it on the Wolf Rider either way. Yeah. So you just kill the 2-2 the two, two of this and see where that leads. Yeah, and this like juggler could be so good. Oh my god. Glaive Zuka grab. Yeah, this is insane. This Glaive Zuka grab is insane for Kalento. 
Because now he can play his creeper and set up for a double juggler pop on it. That is absolutely crazy. Kalinto going to, I mean, really put himself in a good position here uh, for just early game getting work done. The 4-4 four -four still on the board. Defender of Argus grab. Implosion in there as well for Cypher. He's got the Void Terror. This, oh, this here is yeah. the position that you really don't quite want to be in. Because if you play Implosion, you know you're at risk of giving your opponent Unleash. But at the same time, you hmm. have to play Defender of Argus to contest whatever the Hunter throws your way. So it's bittersweet to have the Implosion in a position like this one. I feel like Void Caller could see play. Killing the 3-1 with your 4-4. Um, and playing Void Caller, or yeah, I mean that's kind of uh... yeah. I think that gets you through it uh, the least sad out the other side. Um, yeah. Obviously, Kalinto's just played too well to uh, go digging for cards at this point, and you know he wants to make sure he makes it through. Knife Juggler's sitting there. Kalinto just looking at him. He's like, "Yep, gonna go get some maple syrup out from the trees outside right after this. Live off the land. Gonna do it." Void collar and clears it up. This is the Just void the terror can give you uh, unleash that implosion because this would have done punish very severely. He's still gonna be able to get value out of the creeper. Um, but if the void terror ends up eating up the void collar, then the doom guard comes out, and this is that's a bit tricky. Let's just put it that way. So juggler there, he's gonna unleash and see where he lands. Face. Face and the place. Face is the only place. Caller, and then that's it. Kalinto now. Just gonna. They wanted to get some value out of that. Maybe uh, take another little chunk off of the, the void collar, but no such luck. Not too bad, though, with the hounds out, I guess. And he's just gonna send it on up. We'll send it upstairs, get his friends out, and send a couple more across. Hope for a little bit more luck. Gonna do all right for himself, but uh, not gonna be able to clear things away entirely. We'll get the four damage off the board and leave a three there. And yeah, might as well take the three. Get it cleared. Doom Guard. Implosion. Double implosion sent in the hand for Cypher. He's gonna this drop one. This could turn back around. Oof. Keyword could. Could. Oh man, three M's would have been. Defend one of them. So now searching the hound to avoid any kill command shenanigans. So many possible. I've got to question that very honestly. Like it, it would be a bit of an uh, of an all in. But, man, the amount of damage that Kalento's packing here. He's gonna have to play just for the all in, I guess. But this might be where Cypher can do it. Yeah, Defender of Argus still sitting in the hand. He's gonna pull another one. That's. Hard is my guess. There's no reason not to. So, Cypher thinking about it, though. He doesn't want to slip up here. Now with seven health left, obviously mm -hmm. Defender looks like the obvious play, but he's going to think it through. And, I mean, honestly, put some really nice damage over okay. onto Kalinto. So, theoretically, if you go face with the 2-2, two -two, you can set up lethal for next turn. That's what he's going to opt to do. Creeper, the grab for Kalinto, and, uh, yeah, whew. Not yeah. quite the lethal for Kalento. He could still pick up a kill command. See what he's got. Gonna get it cleared away. He's gonna have a little bit of time here. And steady shots down to four. Cypher shots. on the edge. Kalento not far from it. He's so gonna pull abusive sergeant. So for Kalento. Man, this is a. That game. Never mind. There you go. <laughs> And the other abusive sergeant, and yep, that'll land it right there. Seven and five, Cypher happy as can be. 
as he's going to go 3 2 over Kalinto in a hard one reverse sweep. Putting the work in as uh, Cypher had some nice. Nice rolls through earlier versus Gara and Kalinto. Not going to be so easy to tip over, but Cypher manages to do it. Noxious fully dead at this point. So <laughs> I'll just do it. I'll say it for him. Fantastic games there by Cypher. I'm sure we'd love to offer you guys a little bit more in depth, but uh, as it is, we're going to go to a little bit of a break. While we're on the break, head over to Vulcan.com slash Hearthstone and check out the fantasy esports going on over there. Head over to Squarespace.com slash Deckmasters and give them some love. And guys, we're going to get some things sorted during this break. We're going to be back with Nyria versus Life Coach.